guys this is part of the vast grima estate that is set to be demolished pursuant to a court order that was issued last year so this is just me walking look at that beautiful house guys this is part of the vast grima estate that is set to be demolished pursuant to a court order that was issued last year late last year actually sometimes in october i think if you are in kenya and you like keeping tabs with the current affairs you definitely know about the case of uh, the case involving the administrators of kirima and the people who've built on this parcel of land the case has really dragged in court but finally it was concluded last year and the court ordered all these people to vacate and all these properties are set to be demolished unless the purchasers negotiate with the administrators of the estate of Kirima guys what would you do if it were you what would you do can you imagine all these properties are gonna go down anytime soon guys I've built a very beautiful home look at that mansion the white mansion look at that guys and all these houses are permanent houses people invested time people invested money in building all this but unfortunately person to a court order all this is gonna go down and that brings me to the question what do you do when you're buying land are you the type of a buyer who buys land based on trust or are you the diligent buyer who engages professionals such as lawyers surveyors planners while buying land let me know in the comment section guys so i want to walk you around this vast estate of course i can't finish i can't finish this video or i can't finish the whole i can't i can't walk of course i can't walk through the entire land because it is so big it is vast it stretches from as far as i think kaiole or something next to i think near uh, kaiole junction all the way to njiru all the way to choka guys choka is on the other side right now where you're watching me from this is njiru this is njiru and this is the part whereby the land of kirima stretches look at all this it's a very vast estate So many beautiful houses here set for demolition guys so we've started our walk look at all these guys all these are set to be demolished guys pass one to that court order that reverted this land back to the estate of kirima war on to all these people who bought land who bought this land without following the due process guys let me just advise you if you intend to buy property in Kenya kindly involve a lawyer I know lawyers are expensive but they are worth it lawyers are capable of establishing any mischief that might be in a title don't buy property based on trust guys look at all this investment guys some people are even still constructing i don't know whether now this person has to stop construction i don't know mm -hmm. so let's keep walking and have a look at all these properties that are said to be demolished to be demolished if the purchasers do not reach an agreement with the administrators of Kirima so this is just me walking look at that beautiful house let's keep walking guys 
have you ever experienced something of this sort or do you have any relative who stays in Jiru or Choka area that has been affected by this court order please let me know in the comment section I know most of these guys who've built permanent homes have children whom they've raised here and they've been living here for the longest time but unfortunately the law is an ass it cuts across so law doesn't the court doesn't work with emotions as long as someone is able to prove that the procedures certain procedures were not followed then the court will have no other option but to cancel the titles. I'm even afraid of asking people here what they feel because this issue is very emotive. Someone may think that I'm a just journalist investigating, so I don't want to get myself in trouble. Because this issue, of course, involves money. People have invested a lot of money in this. So I have to be very careful what I'm asking. 